You're leaving. I don't want to leave you, but when... When they come, I need to be with my family. And you're safe. You're as safe as anyone can be now. And you don't need me anymore. Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome back to another Game of Thrones Season 8 filming news video. There hadn't been a whole lot going on as far as filming news in Game of Thrones Season 8 as of late, but I did run across an article about Mira Reed. Ellie Kendrick, the actress who plays Mira Reed, has not received a phone call about returning for filming for Season 8. So what does that mean? And what implications does that have for us seeing Helen Reed in Season 8? Ellie Kendrick, who plays Mira Reed, had an interview recently with Metro, an online entertainment source over in the UK, I believe, where she was talking about various things. She was amazed that she had survived the entire four seasons she was on the show. And of course, she was kind of bitter about the whole goodbye thing with Bran last season. And she did say that felt like a goodbye to the cast and crew as well. Now, the interesting part of this is people are asking her what's going on, what's happening in season eight, are you in it, etc. And she has actually not received the call. You refused the call to come back to film for season eight. So that means that she's likely not going to be in season eight. Now there's still a possibility they could just kind of be keeping her in the dark as well as a lot of people and calling her at a later date for filming since this will film a lot longer than usual. But it's pretty interesting that all the other main cast members have already had their scripts and walkthroughs, etc., and they're already filming, but she's not even aware if she's going to be in the show. So I think it's a very little chance she's going to be in the show. So what does that mean for Helen Reed? So the last we saw of Mira was, of course, in Season 7 when she got Bran safely back to Winterfell. She did her job. She protected Bran and got him home safely. And then, of course, we had the awkward scene where Bran has become kind of emo Bran, and she basically went to say goodbye. And she basically told us that she had to go home to her family and she had to be there with her family when they come as in the white walkers and of course we do know her family is hallen reed and company at Greywater watch in the neck i do think a lot of people think that hallen reed will be in season eight and i think he should at least be in season eight as well because we have had this build up he's been mia for the entire series but we hear so much about him he wasn't there when rob was crowned king in the north he wasn't there when john would later become king in the north as well he wasn't there during Ned's death and all that good stuff, being such loyal supporters of House Stark. Where the hell has Helen Reed been? So I guess we have a couple of options and a couple of things we could take from this as far as Mira Reed not appearing in Season 8. Number one, she simply doesn't appear and we never see her again. And that last goodbye was simply a bittersweet ending to her and Bran's relationship. I would personally like her to return to have some kind of closure with Bran, but I do understand where they were going with his character as far as him kind of not being Bran Stark again. He became emo Bran. He's become the new Three-Eyed Raven, something completely different from the Bran Stark we knew back in Season 1. So the first option is we just don't see Mira or her father Hallen Reed whatsoever. I don't think he's absolutely 100% necessary for the story, but it just seems odd that we get all this build up. We had Jojen and Mira telling Bran stories about their father and Ned, and they were surprised that Ned didn't hear these stories, both book and show. Of course, we did get to see Hallen Reed, a young Hallen Reed, at the Tower of Joy flashback that Bran had. That was a little bit different in the books, but he is brought up. He does play an important role in the backstory in the books as well. So I think it's very, very odd if we don't see Hallen Reed. He's the only one still alive that was actually at the Tower of Joy who can absolutely 100% confirm to John that he was the baby taken from the Tower of Joy by Ned and named Jon Snow, as opposed to his real name, Aegon Targaryen. But I guess it's not 100% necessary to see a current Hallen Reed, so I guess that's one option we just never hear from the Reeds whatsoever. We just assume Mira goes home to her family and either dies or survives off screen. And I guess we'll just have to live with it if that's the case. But I do think they need to wrap those ends up as far as the relationship between Bran and Mira, as well as Helen Reed and his knowledge of John's true parentage. Now, of course, our second option is pretty straightforward that we possibly could see Helen Reed, and he does play a part in the end game. He does play a part in the role of letting John know who he is or the actual end game as far as killing the Night King at the God's Eye like I think will happen, and we just don't see Mira with him. Off screen, we don't see the interaction between her and her father, Halland, or perhaps he's not even home at Grey Rider Watch in the first place. Perhaps he's back at the God's Eye like I've been speculating about because he has been there before, one of only two people in our entire story from the books or show that we know has traveled to the God's Eye, so it could be that we just see Hallen alone. He still plays his part as far as letting John know and confirming that he was the actual child from the Tower of Joy. He lets him know about his true parentage along with Bran and Sam, etc. And what to do in the end game if he even knows. 
if he's went and studied with the children of the forest again at the Isle of Faces. I personally do think he's been back there studying with the children, whatever that means, whatever studying means. And what has he learned from them? Has he learned something about the Night King and the Long Night, the original Long Night? But at the same time, I guess it's not absolutely necessary. It is possible we just never see him again other than the flashback we saw at the Tower of Joy. Because we do have Bran and Sam, of course, and Bran can go back in time himself and see anything we need to see. He can tell John, and of course now Sam can kind of back him up as well. So that could take the place of a Howlin' Reed coming in and telling John himself that, yeah, I was with your father, I was supporting your father, I killed Sir Arthur Dane, and by the way, your name is Aegon Targaryen, you were born at the Tower of Joy. Ned kind of hid that fact to protect you because you are the son of Rhaegar Targaryen. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Will we see Mira Reed again in Season 8? Is it necessary to see Mira? Would you like to see that closure between her and Bran at least? Or would you just be fine with her living or dying off screen where we never really know? Or do you think this has implications for us not seeing Hallen Reed as well? And do you think it's necessary to see Hallen Reed as far as him confirming John's parentage? Or perhaps something to do with the end game at the Isle of Faces, perhaps studying with the Children of the Forest again and knowing something about the Long Night, the original Long Night, and how to stop the next one. As usual, thank you for all the support, especially to you guys on Patreon. And a huge shout out to my executive Patreon smoke screen producers, Hall Griffin, Ball Guy 10, Lala Gig, Kisa Powell, Mark Joseph, aka The Snow and Winterfield, Marilyn Bentley, Joanna, Doc Holliday, Gaska, Hoonjive, Nikki Snow, Lo Horton, Aaron Hadbig, John Kerry, Anastasia, Jason Landers, Rhiannon, Ditt Smith, MJW, Carol Brown and Dee Brown, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate the support, especially during the off season. And to everybody on Patreon, I really appreciate it. And if you dig what I do here at Smokescreen, feel free to share these videos to family and friends or people you think would enjoy them. So be sure to subscribe to get everything and be sure to click that notification bell so you're notified when I drop a new video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.